And I would imagine that uh, Israel and Kathy fight. I don't know the relationship, but <laughs> I remember Israel did explain one time about throwing dishes. Uh, you know, everyone fights. You know, everyone uh, has disputes, disagreements, you know, a lot. Because uh, there's always something precious in our lives we hold dear. Uh, that we worship that dear, precious thing, like that one movie, Lord of the Rings, you know, that's kind of <laughs> whacked out, but, um, you know, life values is what we hold precious. If you abuse someone's life values, you're wicked. You know, if you think you can have life values by taking someone else's life values, you're wicked. If you think you can feel someone else's life values by uh, trying to abuse them, by uh, taking their feelings and putting it into your own life, you're wicked. Uh, I think that's what the TANF office teaches. You know, you can't have some of my daughter's life. Uh, you really can't. You can't have some of my life. And you can't have some of Paul's life. So I protect my family three, even though uh, the women in my life wanted me to get a divorce. I was expect them to be a life coach to me. But they failed to be a life coach to me. They, I was, you know, they utterly, they were just so failed. They failed miserably, <laughs> really bad, really super incredibly bad. So today I got a new job. I'll be in training starting Monday to be a life coach. I'll be licensed and I'll be able to um, charge people online who want to talk to me in my time working, I'd have to be in a quiet room to work to be a life coach and not somewhere where it's always loud uh, where people fight um, so yeah basically when I uh, tell something uh, that's pertinent to the life that will help them people who fight and uh, you know don't listen <laughs> they take a footstep and it's forgotten and like the abyss. <laughs> the abyss. Uh, there's one time I did send Paul to the abyss because I was so mad at him for that Facebook uh, reel on um, Facebook Live um, where he did, uh, where that video was played uh, worldwide. Uh, Sabrina Cynthia. So, um, also, I want to go off on Sabrina Cynthia at all that, um, I basically had to, I sent him to the abyss for like one day. <laughs> I let him out because of the fact that he had to go to work. <laughs> but I might, well, consider putting him in because I saw him again today uh, walking home from the bus stop. He didn't even say hi or anything. It was, he backed up the car to give some courteous. But um, at first he didn't know it was me, but after I walked, he knew it was me. But um, his car looks like trash. Bald tires, you know, faded out paint. It's not even shiny silver anymore. It's like, uh, played gray. <laughs> you know, it used to, the car used to be like, uh, shiny silver with sparkles and, you know, good tires. Now it's all bald tires and played, uh, gray, you know, like, you know, like a dark gray with no sparkles. <laughs> So, um, also I want to go off to explain that, um, I might, well, consider putting him back into the abyss. I'll have to think about it because I really got tired of, you know, him not, um, you know, working with me on a parenting plan, really, because I'm the one who raised her, not Paul. I'm the one who washed her while Paul went to work. Paul did go to work every day for many years until she was 15 years old. And so I washed her for 15 years. I only worked some, but um, for a long time, uh, uh, Social Security does uh, determine that part of my job was to investigate Paul. Like, who is this man, Paul Anthony Wizenhunt? What is he about? And I'm going to give my report here shortly later tonight to Social Security Administration 
because that was my job. Paul Anthony Wilson is my job. It was to investigate and what to know is about Paul Anthony Wilson. And I'm for sure I could, I will give the full report. I'll have to delete some pictures and some photos to give more room to record the video and put it on YouTube. But uh, the report will be to Social Security Administration. They will see the video. Uh, you know, around here at Grace Harbor County, it's a small county, but it's a big county. And around here, word travels fast. Uh, you know, you know what we're all really doing is a piece of wall to people. And people hear things in, out of a piece of wall. Uh, a lot of people at Grace Harbor County, they don't take medication and they still hear fainty voices and they listen to them because they give valuable information of what to do the next day. So if you're out there in a different state, you probably do the same thing. But the people who make, um, you know, public outbursts to the point it's so public, those are the people that become uh, addicted to, like, you know, other sorts of uh, chemicals out on the streets that are man-made and uh, basically have to uh, get help. But I don't know how they can get help because uh, they already made up a substance where they have um, made addiction. You could take this stuff that will make addiction uh, go away. Um, it's actually an anti-addiction drug and it's called, um, uh, no, it's called like, I'll just name an anti-addiction drug. It's supposed to, um, uh, make you unaddicted <laughs> to drugs <laughs> and alcohol <laughs> and street drugs and hardcore drugs and acid and all those terrible stuff. Even heroin, even, you know, the F word and stuff like that. Um, but that's what I make up and it's a, uh, they have those out there. They even uh, hide the cure for uh, COVID and AIDS and HIV AIDS and uh, cancer and stuff like that. And actually you can find the cancer uh, cures in fruits, uh, in fruits. Uh, powerful healing uh, stuff in fruits. That's why Sabrina and Aaliyah Land, the power of my imagination. Uh, I did a lot of work in since 2020. Uh, but I'm on a, a break right now. and um, But um, the cure is in the fruits to uh, be cured and have actual proof from your doctor in the blood test or urine test to see the results that fruits do cure diseases and HIV AIDS and um, uh, COVID and also um, what else is there? Cancer. So if you're out there and uh, your family member has cancer, uh, especially my mom's husband, uh, you know, eat some fruit. Uh, that rice you're eating actually has a lot of sugar. Rice, a grain, is a grain, and it does turn the sugar in your blood. Uh, that's probably how you got cancer uh, from rice. I did tell my family it, and they didn't believe me, uh, except for Danny. <laughs> he doesn't eat much rice no more. <laughs> he eats rice because, you know, it's a staple. You know, it, it doesn't rot when it's hard. You have to really cook it and... Uh, you know, but I just want to say that, um, you know, a lot of people don't know that where the cures are and what the secrets of the world are. And, you know, they hide these things because everyone will go crazy and people will kill for these things. But they're so hidden that um, nobody ever dared to tell the secrets of where these um, they think the cure is in a needle that you have to get a shot. When actual, um, you could just simply get the cure on your own uh, by going to the grocery store. You'll uh, where they have.